Hey guys, it's Harv, good to see you. So in this video I thought I would show you how to light a YouTube video at home because it's a question I get all the time. So let's answer it. Before we get into it, it would mean a lot to me if you could hit the notification bell next to your subscribe button. This isn't sponsored content, so that really does make a huge difference. Thank you kindly. The first thing to consider, I would say, is the angle of your main key light. And I'd say most people's instinct would be to put it right in front of them next to the camera. But this is considered a little more on the amateur side of things and I tend to agree. It just kind of gives you a bit of a flat and not so flattering look. Flat and not so flattering. It's a bit like using direct flash when you take photos. You quickly learn that flash is great as long as it's not pointed directly in your subject's face. For my YouTube videos, I have two main setups that I use. There's the shot where I'm at my desk, I've got a two light setup, and then I've got some interesting lights behind me. And then there's this shot, which is super simple. It's just a one light setup. And generally I get more compliments about the way that this one looks than the other shot. I've got my main light set up diagonally way up by the ceiling kind of and to the left. I'm using an Aperture C300 with the Light Dome Mini 2 and I'm using the honeycomb thing on the front. I'm angling the light down quite a bit and what that does is create this sort of natural vignette effect around me and I'm, I really like that because it's a simple shot, it's centre justified and it makes it look more cosy. Right, let's try another setup. So here we go, this is a tried and tested setup. It's a two light key light fill light setup. So I've got my key light up here to my left and it's nice and bright. I've got my fill light here with the brightness way, way down. This is just a really good way to get an interesting look with plenty of light. Let's swap it around again. So here we are again and this is more my preference for a two light setup. I've got my key light just sort of similar to where it was before but a little bit further in towards the camera. And then I've got a hair light up here with a bit of diffusion. It's not on very brightly, but just enough to separate me from the background a little bit. And I just like it. It looks a bit more moody. It's cool. It's good to consider what's in your background and then balance the level of your lights accordingly. I see so many YouTube videos where the subject is really well lit, often too well lit, and then the background ends up being really dark. And the key to fixing this is just balance. Often all you need to do is dial down the intensity of your main light, adjust your camera settings, maybe bring the exposure up a little bit, and that should balance the exposure between the subject and the background. I'd also add that if you have different colored lights in your scene, say you've got a practical lamp that's sort of tungsten temperature, or maybe a, an LED light or something behind you, that could easily mess with your white balance settings in your camera. It's going to see lots of different colour light and get confused as to which is the correct one. So the key is just to turn off all the other lights and just have your main key light on, then set a custom white balance or just set it manually in your camera. Something else that helps so much with getting good looking lighting in your videos is diffusion of your lights. I get so many questions about what expensive lenses or cameras people should buy to get better looking video. And my advice is almost always this. For YouTube content, focus on these things in order. Quality of content, your audio, then your lighting. And usually all they need to do to improve their lighting is just to add some more diffusion. And good news, diffusion is cheap. You don't need to go out and buy a load of Arri Orbiters, Sky Panels, Silks and whatnot. You can get this umbrella and an umbrella holder. It goes like that, you position your light here for such a small price. I've linked them below so you can check prices, but pair them with any LED light and you'll have a really flattering soft look. So to sum up, here are some home lighting tips that I'm just gonna pop in a little doggy bag for you. Here we go. Move your key light around and if possible, avoid that flat and not flattering straight in your face look. Try using a second light to add either a fill light or a hair light. These are steps to a more professional high-end look. Balance the level of your lighting with your background. It's gonna look way more natural that way. Make sure you set the white balance on your camera when you've only got your main video lights on. Practical lights in the background can cause color weirdness. Diffuse your lights for a far more flattering look. Even sticking something like baking paper over your light can help if you have nothing else. So that's it for now. I encourage you to keep adding tips in the comment section below and hopefully it'll become like a nice treasure trove of home lighting tips. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.